Let's begin by creating a new quote. For this demonstration, I will be using a template. Templates are a great way to save even more time when preparing quotes. Next, I will bring in the customer's information. With QuoteWorks, there's no need to retype customer information that already exists in Outlook BCM. To bring in the customer details, I'll go to the Sold to Ship to tab of the Quote Workbook, which is where the customer information is stored. To search the Outlook BCM database, click on the magnifying glass. From here, I have the option to search by company, last name, or phone number. I will now search for a contact in the Outlook BCM database by last name. Once I find my contact, I just highlight it and double click or I can click here on Sold To. As you can see, the customer information was retrieved from Outlook BCM and populated into the respective fields. QuoteWorks also provides the option to select different contacts for the Ship To and Build To locations. For this example, they are the same, so I would just click on Ship To and Build To. I could also use the Copy feature here. Another way to bring in a contact into QuoteWorks is to start in Outlook BCM. Select a contact. And then from QuoteWorks, click on the Card button, which retrieves the active contact in Outlook BCM. In addition to retrieving customer information, QuoteWorks can also retrieve additional information stored in Outlook BCM. Our data link features enables you to customize which additional information you would like to have automatically pulled into QuoteWorks, such as customer terms, sales tax rate, and customer profiles. On the Advanced tab of the Outlook setup is where you'll find the data link setup. Here are two data links that I have set up. One is to bring in the customer profile. Customer profiles can be used by QuoteWorks to determine the appropriate pricing a particular customer should receive. And the other is to bring in the account ID. And since there isn't an account ID field in QuoteWorks, I will use one of the many custom fields available. Notice that the profile field is populated. This information was pulled from Outlook BCM. The same is true for the account ID that you see here. This account ID is now in QuoteWorks. On the custom tab is where you'll find the account ID field. As you can see, the data link features enables you to specify which additional information from Outlook BCM you would like to have automatically pulled into QuoteWorks. Once you establish the links, the values of these fields will be pulled into QuoteWorks when the contact record is retrieved. Now that I'm finished creating my quote, I will save it. QuoteWorks will automatically prompt me to choose the Outlook BCM integration options. The Create or Update Link document will create an attached document file in the Outlook BCM as a journal entry. We can switch to Outlook BCM to see the link document that was created. The link attachment can be easily found in the communication history in the contact record. This quote attachment is very useful. When your customer calls back in reference of the quote, you or anyone in the office can easily open up the quote in QuoteWorks. I will now close the quote in QuoteWorks and reopen it from Outlook BCM using the link document. Selecting Create Update Follow-up Call will schedule a call activity in your Outlook calendar, which enables you to follow up on open quotes, increasing your chances of closing the sale. From here, you can rename the subject, set the date, time and duration of the call, insert any notes you would like to see before making the call, and select a category. I will leave the subject name as is, set the date, time, and duration of the call, insert my notes, and set a category. We can switch to Outlook BCM to see the follow-up call that was scheduled. You can find it on your calendar and under the communications history in the contact record. This call activity will automatically notify you when it is time to follow up on this quote. Selecting Creator Update BCM Opportunity will create a sales opportunity in Outlook BCM. From here, you can select the sales stage, 
the projected close date, the probability of the sale, and set a reminder. You can also select the source information and set the terms, as well as an expiration date and a delivery date. We can switch over to Outlook BCM to see the sales opportunity that was created. You will find it under Sales. This will allow you to track your forecasted income. When QuoteWorks creates the sales opportunity, QuoteWorks can either write up a summary line to summarize the entire QuoteWorks document, or it can automatically create the individual line items associated with opportunity under Products and Service Information which eliminates the need to go through the tedious process of creating items. The next and final step is to send the quote to the customer, but first I'm going to preview the quote before emailing it. Here are all the layouts I have available. I could make this more of a proposal by adding a cover page, literature, spec sheets, and anything else I would like to include. QuoteWorks would then take all your documents and merge it into a PDF. Or you can choose the Word option to have QuoteWorks merge all the quote information into a Microsoft Word document. Here is a quote I'm about to send. Since everything looks correct, I can now email it to my customer. With QuoteWorks, you can send emails through the built-in SNTP email client, or you can send emails through Outlook. By sending it through Outlook, the email will be logged, which is very useful for resending quotes and seeing the email history. As you can see, the customer's email is already populated. From here, you would write your message, and then click on Send. There is an option to preview the email in Outlook before sending. We can switch to Outlook BCM to see the email that I just sent. I would find it under Mail and in the Sent folder. It is as though I sent the email right from Outlook. Now let's pretend the customer accepts the quote. At this point, I would convert the quote to an order. QuoteWorks will then prompt me to save the quote and update the sales opportunity, eliminating the possibility of me forgetting. It will then update the sales opportunity in Outlook BCM as one. We can switch to Outlook BCM to see the one opportunity. As you can see, the opportunity is now a one opportunity.